As much as I would love to tell you that photography comes first, it just doesn't. Family comes first. Right below family, there's my job. And I like my job and it pays the bills too. Besides my family and my job, there's photography. And every hour I can spare, I want to spend on my passion, which is photography. And this week was all about family and work, long days and short nights with the baby. And to be honest, photography just wasn't on top of the list of priorities. I did, however, take my Ricoh GR3X out on two short occasions on the streets of Rotterdam. And I actually took some shots I kinda like. So here's two street sessions in one video. Let's go. The first day is rainy and overcast and I'm taking a short stroll in Rotterdam near the city center. As you can see, I'm trying different compositions and get creative with my photography as well as different editing techniques. To be honest, there isn't just any good light, so that kind of forces me to think outside the box. Good thing there's always stuff to see in Rotterdam. With my Ricoh GR I always shoot RAW plus JPEG and I set the JPEGs to the positive film simulation. This is great because I really like editing my photos and especially when the light is very boring and flat you can just sprinkle an extra little bit of flavor on top of your photos in the post processing. And having the option to choose between the amazing Ricoh GR presets with perfect JPEGs or just to shoot in RAW and edit the way I want in Lightroom, that's why I shoot RAW plus JPEG. On the second day I'm on my way to work and I am surprised by the light. Good thing that I have my GR3X with me because I can spare half an hour or so to shoot some shots. The buildings in Rotterdam have a lot of glass and when the sun is out this causes great indirect light. And I'm a big fan of playing with these circumstances because the puddles of indirect sunlight cause very surprising, very beautiful situations. It's great for interesting compositions. Here I come across the entrance of a building and the rotating door has some glass and some metal parts that catches my interest. So I stick around for a minute or so to see what happens when I focus on different areas, play with my shutter speed and compositions, just to experiment a little bit. And then it's off to work. So there you have it, two small street photography sessions where I tried different compositions, different ways of using the light and reflections in the glass and movement and of course different editing techniques. One of the things that really helped me with shooting the people on the tram with the moving tram was the option to use the snap focus distance. Um, with this feature you can set your focus to uh, a specific distance and when you press the shutter button completely it will instantly snap to that uh, focus distance. So you don't really have to rely on the autofocus, it will just focus on the distance you have preset. And for the trams I set the snap focus to 2 meters because I knew this was about the uh, distance between me and the moving tram. And then you can just point and shoot and uh, you don't have to rely on the autofocus. So the snap focus distance really helped me with that. As you can see there's always time to squeeze photography into our busy lives and I used to really 
plan my moments for photography, making some dedicated time to have an afternoon or a full day just for photography without any distractions. And with life as it is right now, with my work and my kids and everything that's going on, this is just not possible. So I can basically do one of two things. Don't shoot at all or squeeze photography in that small windows of opportunity when there is a little bit of time for photography. And I prefer to do the last one. And not all photos have to be keepers just go out enjoy photography and the results they may surprise you so that's it for this week's video don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out and uh, i'll see you next week peace